Impossible, John gasped, his heart pounding like a drum. The photo on his phone screen stared back at him, a betrayal that shattered years of shared happiness. His wife, his lifelong partner, had deceived him. Stunned, he found himself drawn to the photo once more. When his plane had first landed and he had spotted the new message notification, his face lit up when he saw that it was of his wife, Chloe. However, his joy was short-lived, fading faster than a setting sun. As he opened the message, he was met with a stunning picture of her, her smile bright and warm, her eyes sparkling with joy, her hair glossy and radiant. Suddenly a jolt ran through John, causing his heart to skip a beat. What was he seeing? This couldn't be real. His own eyes were showing him a truth he was struggling to process, a truth that felt all sorts of wrong, that didn't fit into their picture-perfect life. His hands trembled as he dialed his lawyer's number. Choking back tears, he uttered the devastating words he never thought he'd say. Please prepare the divorce papers. John and Chloe had always been a picture-perfect couple. The thought of any issue cropping up between them was unimaginable to John. They had navigated through five years of marriage almost seamlessly until that shocking day. Their relationship was somewhat unique. John's work required him to travel extensively, often leaving Chloe home alone for weeks at a time. During his absence, Chloe filled her time with helping out at various local charities around the city. This arrangement, however, meant that they often had to endure weeks apart. John placed absolute trust in Chloe and embarked on his business trips without a hint of worry. But as events unfolded, he found himself questioning whether he might have been a bit too trusting. Naturally, they faced their share of challenges. For instance, due to Chloe being alone at home so often, she was the one managing the household. When John returned home for a week, he found himself abiding by Chloe's house rules. This dynamic initially sparked tension. John disliked the feeling of being bossed around, as if he were a guest in his own home. Chloe acted as though the house was solely hers, while in truth John had invested most of his earnings into the house, and Chloe had contributed a relatively minor portion. John gradually became more accepting of the rules in his relationship with Chloe, realizing he was fortunate to have her. Despite his job taking him away from home frequently, he deeply missed Chloe and wished to see her more often. However, when he finally did, he regretted what he discovered. Chloe's beauty and social nature often attracted attention, leading to invitations to various events. She dedicated her time to supporting charities, but John sometimes worried about the attention she received, given her past as a model and playmate. Despite this, their initial connection remained special to him. At the car show, despite spending hours searching, John and Heather couldn't find their dream car. John, in high spirits due to his recent promotion, was stunned when he saw a mysterious man kissing Heather. Confronting them, he realized Heather had been dating this man for a year, leaving both John and the stranger in shock and confusion. The revelation shattered John's perception of their future together, leaving him feeling deceived and heartbroken. After the confrontation with Heather and the stranger, John demanded Heather leave, leaving him grappling with the betrayal alone. Overwhelmed with anger and hurt, John found himself in tears, unable to comprehend how she could betray him like that. Chloe, who witnessed the incident, approached John and offered comfort. They spent hours discussing the events, and Chloe's presence served as a welcome distraction. John promised to call her later that evening. Their conversation continued for hours, shifting to Chloe's life and aspirations. Despite Heather's departure the next day, John's thoughts gravitated towards Chloe. Their frequent phone calls led to a dinner date, followed by regular outings, strengthening their bond. As their relationship blossomed, thoughts of moving in together arose. Despite his past experience, John felt hesitant about this step and decided to discuss a condition with Chloe before taking the plunge. This condition, however, really scared Chloe. After a movie, John shared his request with Chloe, asking her to stop nude photo shoots before they moved in together. Chloe accepted without hesitation, and they began searching for a home in San Francisco where they fell in love with a picturesque spot. However, during their visit to the Golden Gate Bridge, Chloe was surprised by John's proposal. 
Their wedding was lavish, but their marriage faced challenges as John's career thrived while Chloe's modeling opportunities declined. Chloe became involved in charities, adjusting to life as a homemaker, while John spent more time away for work. Despite outward success, strains emerged in their relationship. Chloe adapted to her new role, finding fulfillment in charity work but missing the excitement of her previous lifestyle. She spent most of her time at home, adjusting to married life. With plenty of time at home, Chloe grew dissatisfied with her routine, feeling bored and longing for excitement. Similarly, John, despite his successful career, missed Chloe deeply during his frequent business trips and wished for more contact, even via video calls. As John prepared to board a flight, he sent Chloe a request for a photo, unaware of her reluctance to share them. Chloe, torn between her principles and John's loneliness, ultimately sent one, but realized too late that it contained a detail that would upset him. With her phone dying, she couldn't rectify the situation before John saw it upon landing. As soon as he landed, John deactivated the airplane mode on his phone, and a broad smile lit up his face. He had received a new message from the woman he cherished. Excitedly, he opened his messaging app and found the stunning photo of his beautiful wife. His heart swelled with affection as he admired her image on the screen. Her enchanting smile, her mesmerizing eyes, her glossy hair. All of a sudden, John's heart missed a beat. What was that? His heartbeat thundered in his ears. He had spotted something in the photo that had truly taken him aback. What could this possibly imply? This detail was bound to cast a long shadow over their marriage. John trembled with rage as he dialed his wife's number for the fourth time. She didn't answer again. He didn't know that her phone had gone down, of course, so he tried a fifth time. When this attempt also proved unsuccessful, John decided to call another number. His lawyer answered in the usual friendly tone. John explained the situation to him and concluded his story with a request. I want you to get the divorce papers in order, he said. The lawyer repeated John's words in astonishment. Are you sure about this? He asked John. Talk to her first, who knows? Maybe she'll have an explanation. John took a few deep breaths at the advice of his lawyer and decided to call Chloe again. John was straight to the point. Where the hell is your wedding ring? Chloe had already expected this to catch his eye. He had spent so much money and gone to such lengths to get this wedding ring on her finger. He had noticed this detail immediately. The photo indeed showed that Chloe was not wearing her wedding ring. One dark thought ran through John's head. Did she cheat on him when he was on a business trip? Chloe had once said that she felt bored and lonely at home. Maybe she had found excitement somewhere else and forgot to wear her ring again. Did this happen more often? She never used to send pictures. Chloe had no choice but to tell the truth. Chloe told John that she did something that day that he wouldn't like. She had been sitting at home and very bored. There was no volunteering to do that day, no events to attend, and she had already completed all the household chores. She called an acquaintance for an appointment and then went out. Along the way, Chloe knew she was doing something her husband didn't want her to do, but she was done with the boredom. At least this was something exciting, and he wouldn't even find out. However, he did find out. Chloe decided to confess to John about her actions that day, actions she knew he wouldn't be pleased with. She had been home, utterly bored. There were no volunteering commitments that day, no events to grace, and all household chores had been taken care of. In her restlessness, she made a call to an old acquaintance and scheduled a meetup. She knew she was on the brink of doing something that John wouldn't approve of, but the overwhelming monotony left her craving some excitement. And besides, he wouldn't even know. But now that he knew, it might mean the end of their relationship. Chloe had arranged a nude photo shoot with a professional photographer. It was nothing sexual, just an expression of art. Even though John had asked her not to do these shoots anymore, she had done it this one time. It felt exciting. The shoot was very respectful and beautiful. Chloe felt attractive again, something she had felt a lot less in these past years. She might not be able to make ends meet as a model, but she still had it in her. When she got back home, John had asked her for a picture and, on the spur of the moment, she sent a selfie. In all the excitement, she simply forgot to put her wedding ring back on. 
John was very relieved that his wife hadn't cheated on him. He immediately told her that he didn't mind that she had such a photo shoot. John desperately wanted the love of his life to feel attractive and beautiful. He could well imagine that such a life as a housewife was boring. The two had a good chat about their wishes and dreams. They told each other that they were both not completely happy with their marriage. They loved each other very much and enjoyed every moment they were together. But John was away from home too often. Then John did something quite drastic. John contacted his boss and indicated that he no longer wanted to be away from home so often. He asked if there was no position in San Francisco. This would mean that he could be with his wife every day again. Much to his relief, his boss understood him completely. And it got even better. Surprise! John's boss told him a management position had become vacant in San Francisco. He had wanted to offer it to John the moment he returned from his current business trip. Now that John called with this request, he couldn't keep it to himself any longer. John accepted the offer, and they agreed to discuss the details in the office the following week. So John got a job in San Francisco. And Chloe? After Chloe's secret photo shoot and having John back by her side, she started feeling a lot more confident and people could see it. Suddenly, she was getting offers for more modeling jobs than she could handle. Chloe's modeling career was back on track. The couple made a rule that Chloe would not take on many jobs outside the country. They didn't want to repeat the past and have distance between them again. They wanted to keep their love strong and always be there for each other. If this story touched you as much as it did us, you should watch this video. Pilot Spots something on top of Mount Hood. Then he calls the police. Click here to get the full story.